All right, it's Taco Tuesday. Gonna go ahead and get this Taco Tuesday explosion going. Let go. First, gotta get our chicken ready. Last time I made chicken spinach enchilada, I used some rotisserie chicken from the store. But I'm gonna make my own and make my own broth and everything as well. I'm going to use chicken thighs, got my water boiling, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in there, get it all nice and ready. And of course, don't forget to add your onion in there as well as that good old garlic. <laughs> Then I, you know, gonna go ahead and put a little seasoning. Baby, you don't know, no, what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. See, no one else, let me let you do. That's why I don't mind to spend my life with you. I wanna please you. Take it out once it's ready and then pot out. I'm ready to get that shredded and chopped up real good. Gonna put it in a skillet and add some more seasoning to it. Give it a little bit more taste to get it ready to divide up for the chicken enchiladas and chicken tortilla soup. We just gonna chicken it out tonight, okay? <laughs> Now let's move on over to the chicken tortilla soup. I'm going to do this in a crock pot. So I'm going to add all of those previous items that I just showed you into this crock pot like so. Okay, let's go. So now I got my chicken ready. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the chicken tortilla soup. And I'm gonna use the other part of it for the chicken enchiladas. Uh, the chicken tortilla soup, I had it on high. They said you can cook it on low for four to six hours. I put it on high and did it for about two to four hours. Now I'm getting my spinach ready, using the onion that was cooked with the chicken as well. Look at isn't it pretty? And mix it up in there to get my sauce ready for my chicken enchiladas. to get my sauce together this mushroom soup and then i'm gonna add a little bit of and i say a little bit i mean a little bit of whipping cream just a little bit mix it all up together and give me the sauce as you see it go ahead and put some of the sauce to the side and what you have remaining in your pan go ahead and add the chicken the sauce that you put to the side is what you're going to put on top of your enchiladas once you roll them up don't forget to add those green chilies. <laughs> now I gotta get my enchiladas ready. I use a pan and a little bit of oil and I do about a minute, not even a minute, on each side so it'll make it easier for me to roll. Do not leave it in there too long or else it will be 
too soft and they will tear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together and get it set up for you so we can get it in the oven. This is the sauce that I said we were going to put to the side to drizzle over the top of it. It doesn't have to be a lot of it, it'll just be just enough. Um, as you see, I only made six enchiladas. It's just me and Joy. Uh, so drizzle that over the top and then I'll go ahead and add some shredded cheese. You can add whatever type of shredded cheese that you would like, but I love to use this Fiesta blend, okay? <laughs> Taco Tuesday explosion, chicken and spinach enchiladas with some rice and chicken tortilla soup. Let's eat. I want with the bus, boy. Let me be honest. 